Garden with the Grape in Le Marche. Le Marche is one of Italy's 20 regions. It's in central Italy and it's on the eastern side of the Apennine mountain range um, bordering the Adriatic Sea. Uh, the region is famous for a white, a white grape called Verdicchio. It's one of Italy's great whites. Um, but the area also has some really cool red grapes. And of course, I want to talk to you about one of those today. This is Lacrima. Lacrima means teardrop in Italian. Maybe referring to the um, shape of the berries of the grapes or maybe from those teardrops that you get of joy after you've drunk this wine. It's also a really historical grape. It was mentioned by Emperor Frederick Barbarossa in 1167, who came through the area, drank the wine and loved it. Um, there were only a few plantings of lacrima left um, once the DOC was made to protect the region and its grape in 1985. Today, 200 hectares are grown, approximately. Still a very small production, so still a little bit of a hidden gem. Now, lacrima is made, I'll show you. Lacrima is made in Moro d'Alba. Moro d'Alba is in the province of Ancona, in Le Marche, of course. Um, don't get it confused with Alba, which is another wine village, perhaps more famous as it is in Piemonte and is sort of the hub of the Barolo and Barbaresco wines. But this is different. Um, by the way, Moro d'Alba refers to two words, rock and a hill, uh, of course, two things that um, grape, grapes generally love. So let's try the wine. I've already poured it, as you can see. Show you the color. Um, so Lacrima is a really aromatic grape and it also gives very dark, um, almost black wines, as you can see. Um, if you've ever had the pleasure of trying a Lacrima, you will remember it. It is so different from um, other grapes. Uh, it, it's so aromatic, it's almost like uh, smelling a perfume. Um, I'm getting like lavender, really strong rose, black cherry, nutmeg, um, cinnamon. It's just such a powerful uh, wine um, in the flavors. And if you taste it, the same thing, all these things will come through. I tasted it before. not a huge wine. It's really soft, actually, in the mouth. Super pleasant, um, but super distinct. So if you've never tried it, you must go for it. You have to try it. Gone with the grape. Cheers. Salute.